Hey, welcome to Learn to Juggle for Advanced Jugglers. My name is Anthony, and before we get started, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that we're going to be learning today. and so on and so forth. So those are a couple of the tricks that I'm going to try to teach you guys to do. We're also going to dabble into some four ball juggling today. Um, and so here's a couple of the things I want to show you. Number one is what I like to call off the knee. So this comes from a regular three ball cascade where you're keeping your cascade organized. Each ball is crossing the other ball. And we're going to drop it onto the knee and put it back into the juggle. So you're going to throw one ball up Keep the other two in your hands. It's a hesitation. You're going to hit it off the knee. And then just as if somebody else is throwing you a ball to begin a three ball cascade with, you're going to pretend that that ball is starting into your cascade again. So here we go again. Off the knee. Putting it back into the juggle. Hesitate and hold those two other balls. Once you throw one, put it back into your juggle. So real simple. Through the legs and around the back, work the same exact way. So. If I'm juggling, I'm going to hold the two balls, wait for one to go under the legs, and then I catch the other ball. So here we go. I'm going to throw it under the leg while one ball's in the air and keep going. So if you notice, there's one ball floating. I'm holding two, but I'm actually doing something with the one I'm holding, and I'm tossing it through the legs. And then I'm catching and continuing as if that ball that just went through my legs is the one that somebody tossed to me. Here we go again. Through the legs. Through the legs. Once that starts feeling good, you can try to do two in a row or a couple within your cascade. And so that's eventually what that could look like is one ball. Or what I like to do is switch legs where I go one, two, one, two, one, two, and so on and so forth. So around the back, same thing. As soon as that ball's floating, I'm taking the other ball, going behind my back, tossing it, catching the ball that was floating, and then pretending that that ball that just came over my shoulder is the one that somebody just tossed me to begin my cascade. Now, to get the around the back to flow comfortably, you're just going to do what I did uh, in my intermediate juggling video, and that's really get that repetition where it feels comfortable. Take one hand, put it under, put it uh, behind your back and over your opposite shoulder, and do that until you can get a pretty consistent throw. And then you can do that in the middle of your cascade and put it right back in. Here it is again, hesitation right here, putting it back in, here we go. If that starts to feel real good, I challenge you to do it with the other hand. And so on and so forth. So there it is, back in my cascade. The next thing I want to do is some snatch juggling. So instead of in your cascade letting the ball come to you, I'm going to have you go and grab the ball. So here's what that looks like. I'm going to take a ball thrown from my weak hand and grab it with my strong. So I'm going to reach up and grab it like that. Okay. And so the idea is then you can do that with every single throw and start putting it back into your juggle after you go down, but putting some spin on the ball and putting it back in from sort of a bottom hand throw. So if that becomes comfortable, you can do it with both hands. 
and eventually get something that looks like this. Where every ball is being snatched and being put back into it. So that's a little bit of snatch juggling. We're going to move into what I call, or what is called, the three ball shower. So we've talked a lot about three ball cascade and ways to do tricks with it. This time we're going to turn that into a three ball shower. The difference between a cascade and a shower is the cascade, balls uh, come underneath one another and they cross, right? Well, with a shower, it's much different. With a shower, you're actually putting one ball in the air, letting it go, and you're putting another ball in the air over the ball you just thrown, and then you're giving your hand a third ball to do the same thing. So begin this way. Get that flow of putting one ball over to the other hand and catching it. Now, just like you've caught every other finishing your juggle, you're kind of keeping one ball between two fingers and the palm of your hand, and then it's ready with those three fingers to catch the other hand. That's how we finish it, and that's how I want you to practice before we're ready to get that third ball passed. So you're going to put one over, catch it. Now when you're ready, let's do one, then one. Okay? One, then one. Okay? You can catch it with two hands right now because you got three balls in one hand that you're going to end up with. So right now, go ahead and have that other hand help with the, with the final catch. Here we go. Okay. Once you get that um, flow, and again, just like a three ball cascade, we're going to wait till one ball gets to its peak before we throw the other ball over it. So peak, peak, right? So the third and final step to a three ball shower is to really allow your weak hand to toss a ball horizontally over to your strong hand while those two balls are coming. That way you can catch, catch. It's a toss, toss, catch, catch. So in, right before my catch, catch, I'm actually throwing a horizontal ball over to a hand that literally has no juggling balls in it. I'm tossing it over and it's catching while two balls are in the air and then I'm catch, catch with the other hand. So there it is again. It's simultaneous. As soon as I get rid of my second ball from my strong hand, I'm going to toss that ball over. So if that feels good, this time before you catch your second ball, you're actually going to give your other hand a third ball. So toss, toss. And this is going to be the end result. Once you practice this enough, you're going to notice a pattern where it's happening almost at the same time. There's a quick hesitation where... One ball will go up before the other goes across. But if you stay organized, you can keep this going for a long time. And this is, like I said, called the three ball shower. Easily done through a cascade because you can do that hesitation. And then after one ball goes in an arch, you can put another ball right behind it. We're going to move on to bounce juggling. Now, I'm using tennis balls, which are easily transferable to a bounce. Um, these aren't necessarily what I recommend for advanced jugglers because most jugglers will tell you they want something a little bit more weighty, something that's easier to catch, easier to keep in a flow. Uh, but for the sake of convenience, these I can juggle and bounce juggle with. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with the tennis balls. And here's what it looks like. You can either put the ball in a V-shape more toward the middle of your feet as you bounce it to the other hand. Or it can land a little bit closer to the same foot from the arm that you threw it from. So it's a bounce to the other hand, just like that. So if I'm going to bounce it from one, I'm going to wait till it's already hit the floor and on its way up before I bounce the second one. So one, two, and you're going to try to catch it. So. Eventually, once you begin a pattern, it's going to either be kind of all hitting the exact spot in the middle or, like I said, hitting a little bit closer to where your feet are. Here's my three ball bounce juggling. And so real important to keep those organized. Here we go again. So you can see mine, my bounce, uh, my V, the bottom of my V actually ends up a little bit closer uh, to the foot that it came from. That's totally fine. 
um, that kind of actually helps you keep even more organized rather than keeping them all bouncing in the same spot. So again, to move on from here where you throw one ball and then the next ball, as the second ball is reaching its peak, that's when you get rid of the third ball. So here's one, two, three. Catch it with your weak hand because you started with the ball in your strong hand. Here we go. One, two, three. Catch it with your strong, or so, with your weak, sorry. So from your strong to your weak, one, two, three. Catch it. Now, same thing. To keep that pattern going, you're going to take the ball that you just had in your weak hand and keep putting it into play. And that's bounce juggling. So we're going to move on to one more thing, which is four ball juggling. I give a quick disclaimer that I'm not very good at four ball juggling, but what I do is I start from two balls in one hand. So what I want you to do is put two balls away and keep two balls in one hand. And what you're going to do with these is begin to throw one up, catch it. So this time we're going to do the same thing as we would in a three ball cascade, whereas one begins to reach its peak, you're going to get the other one out of your hand and catch it. So you could either learn this pattern where you toss, toss, catch, catch, and keep them two towers next to each other. Or, of course, you could do uh, where they spin over each other. If you're more interested in going around on the side so you can get a horizontal spiral, you could do that as well. That's usually what my four ball juggling turns into. And so practice that until you can pretty much go on forever because as soon as you're ready, you're gonna have that thought on both hands. So, here's what a four ball juggle would look like. You're going to begin one toss from this hand, one toss from this hand. And this is how you keep these two thoughts organized because you can direct your brain attention to this side, then attention to this side. They're both doing the same thing, but you're just looking at one after the other. So. Here's my four ball juggle. It's a toss, 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 toss. Okay? So just like I said, learn that weak hand, the same motions, and you can get four balls at once. So if there's a lot of strategy in the way I start because I'm going to toss one and then toss the other. So then I'm going to, before I catch this one, I'm going to toss the next one, then I'm going to toss the next one. So I'm switching from hand to hand, but as you'll notice, both hands are literally just doing this. The balls are not crossing each hand. One more time. And four ball juggle. And so that's all I have for that. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to my Learn to Juggle Advance. Hopefully these tricks will push your level. And if they do. Congratulations. That's what the point of this video is. Thank you so much and have a great day.